Okay, sweetie, I'm going to do one more episode of my Nuzlocke. So you decide. Am I doing the grass gym, or am I going to go fight Team Rocket in the game corner? Uh, fight Team Rocket in the game corner. Okay. Game Rocket corner. I'll talk to all the people here later. I just gotta go talk to the Rocket member standing conspicuously outside of their secret hideout's entrance. He's literally standing in front of a poster that has a giant R on it, in his rocket uniform. I just... I never got how Team Rocket was so hard to find by everybody's standards. Oh, wow. Most of the people of the Pokemon world are very, very stupid. It's always been my interpretation. I, Their I, uh, education standards have really been slipping hard. I mean, it's because they sent 10-year-olds out to fight in the wild. Also, I just gotta say right now, I think we may have over... sending them to fucking school. You, you go to school until you're 15. You finish high school and then you get to become a Pokemon trainer or start your evocation as a Pokemon Ranger. Or if you're not going to go into the Pokemon business, you better have found a career and start apprenticing, Japanese style. Yeah, so now we have to clear out the rocket hideout, which is actually pretty easy to do. I think uh, we're actually slightly overleveled with this. I don't know, but that's just... I'm getting that feeling because that guy had a... Wait, no, these guys are closer to our level. He only had one 26 level Pokemon. But this guy ha starts with a level 26 Pokemon. Oh, yeah. motherfucker. That's good. Oh, he's got a Beedrill. I do appreciate that they made the Pokemon the the... The teams people use more diverse, which in part because they have more variety from having three generations of Pokemon. Because the original Fire Red was really boring because it was just a straight remake without any new Pokemon. And turns out that's really, really boring. I do like the fact that Grunts aren't named, but I would have loved it if the Team Rocket Grunts had been named. Like, each rocket grunt had his own name, just so you could add that little detail in. Mm, what nerve indeed! I know, I broke into Team Rocket's HQ and I'm gonna... I'm gonna beat you guys up. Did, did you just use Mudsport? One of the... Growl, Mudsport, and Odor Sleuth. Does your Lanoon know no attacks? And then his next Pokemon's a Lickitung. Okay, whatever. Oh, that's... Uh, good, we got the poison gas off. Um, let's use a fresh water. I still have the six rare candies that... I shouldn't. Uh, we'll get them back while they to full. Gosh, I just realized the last time I played through the Fire Red, for, and that was base Fire Red, not Omega Fire Red. When I played through that, my team included a Hypno as well. The Hypno died in, in the Rocket Hideout. Uh, his name was Papa Frank. Because, Papa. because me and Jib were playing together, so we would alternate on what we would nickname the Pokemon. We would work together. And Jib wanted everybody to be level 50 by the time we were done with the first gym. Because... Wouldn't that break the rules? Yeah, I know. I, uh, I kept on trying to point out that that breaks the big rule. But that's the type of thing, like... Uh, to put it simply, that that's how it, Jim did in Ruby and Sapphire his first time, because he's colorblind, so he can't actually see the cave entrance in Ruby and Sapphire, because it's up against the brown wall, the black circle, so he just vanishes into the distance room. So he just missed it. So he couldn't actually figure out what the cave was. That happened to me with figuring out how to use Flash in that one, too. Yeah. 
Well, because of that, he never got to do the steaming thing until he just randomly walked into the cave. Or so he claims. And I'm like, oh, I'm willing to believe that. He is colorblind. But sometimes he goes like, I only see it in greys, and I'm like, Jim, that, that's... I... No, I don't know, it's not gonna... Oh, Some Tiffany. hilarious, uh, stuff. Yeah. How to be a necromancer, part two. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Well, this rocket grunt had a murkrow. Part two. A contentious issue arises when it comes time to breathe life into your gathered specimens. There is much disagreement between the various movements of necromancers. The Banegrind method of necromancy extols the torturous imprisonment of the soul as fundamental. The anguish generated by the captive spirit makes for a much more effective undead thrall, they claim. The recently founded Tren method, however, disagrees, claiming that allowing souls freedom not only results in more obedient slaves, but also causes your work to become marginally more acceptable to the unwashed masses. Sure, they'll still thrash you, drag you through town, and burn you at the stake if they get the chance, but they'll feel ambivalent about it by thunder. <laughs> My character presses this is the Fainigrand method. So the method where they're ambivalent towards you? No, the method that involves the torturous imprisonment of the souls of the damned. Or of the deceased. Yeah. Oh yeah, so this is going pretty well. I'm, I'm using fast forward functionality to make this go a bit faster. Because otherwise it would take forever because it's such a... The dungeons can get pretty big, which I'm okay with actually. Also, that's a, re that's a really interesting detail. Uh, you know, this is why your necromancy should, ha should be more ambivalent like the necromancy in Ringwalt. Where in Ringwalt, necromancy is entirely based on what you're trying to accomplish with your undead. Mm -hmm. yep. Oh wait, actually this is going to be really interesting because this is, this is also where we fight Giovanni. Which means that we're going to get to deal with Giovanni's all ground Pokemon team. <laughs> Gosh. Giovanni, I... Every time I remember what Gio Giovanni's in this game, I just go, oh, right, yeah, Giovanni and his ground types. But since there's so few actual ground types in the first generation, there's more ground rocks. His team looks more like a, uh, a variant of rocks team in a lot of ways. Interesting. Well, he also has that Kangaskhan because, yeah. Actually, I wonder if Giovanni will have six Pokemon in this match against him. As a reference to the fact that he's a gym leader, or will he just have um, the normal three he has? I'm kind of curious. That will be interesting. Uh, I do like the fact that they've decided to give the rock more of the Rocket Grunts Cadabras, though. Which is a nice reference to the fact that some of them had Cadabras. And rockets use psychic poison and dark types. I like when the enemy teams are more diverse than just poison. Or yes, we got the item. We got black glasses. Um, black glasses are the item that boosts dark type moves. Which means... Wait, oh yeah, Zuvira's maxed out friendship. Which means... Zuvira, you're going to be wearing cool... <laughs> um, Zuvira is now wearing awesome eyeglasses. What? Which boost her dark type moves, which will be nice. Too bad dark type moves in this generation go off special attack, which is still terrible for her. Rip. Oh yeah, and the elevator doesn't work, which this, this guy's like, well, who has the lift key? And I think he tells us he has it. Yeah. 
I do like uh, that how they section off each area with dungeons, though. Gyms are kind of mini dungeons up to their boss. Baku can learn psychic. Yes, okay. I want to keep poison gas because having the ability to poison people is really nice. And I want to keep headbutt because he needs that. So I guess we're going to be dropping confusion. Oof. Actually, yeah, that's that's going to be a big boost to his power. Psychic's 90 power this generation, which I think is what it's always been, but 90 power versus 50 power. So he's 135 could stab. Oof. That, that, that's a big boost to power. Oof. Real big boost. A thousand one hundred and eleven XP. Nice. I do love that when you beat him with the rocket grunt that has lift key, he goes, Oh no! The lift key! I dropped it! I, I like to imagine that your character's like, You have the lift key. And then he just, No, I no, don't. No. And then he drops it and you just kind of stare at him as he's just looking at you. And you just kind of sigh at him. And he's like, Okay, I had the lift key. Oh, Moonstone. Man, if only I had poke. Wait, I think I have a skitty. No, wait, did I? I think I KO'd the skitty. I've had a lot of uh, random crits at the worst time for this game for capturing Pokemon. Annoying? Yep. Very annoying for a news luck. here and there's two more rockets to battle that's okay is that all of them really i thought there was more oh that's a pretty high level pokemon let's see nice but baku is able to ko it because he's much higher level 35 and then a cacme okay yeah sure whatever megadolian can take that on with his flamethrower which will make I guess because Cacne evolves into a dark type, that's why he's got it. <sighs> and I went, yes, I went with a Persona reference for my Charmander. I, I went hardcore nerd. Mm -hmm. uh, Barbados KOs the Bolt. Oh wow, this guy's got radishes. Okay, sure, whatever. I'll beat up some radishes. Really? An Arbok? Okay, whatever, dude. Send out an Arbok. It doesn't matter. I'll KO it. Uh, Zigzagoon? Yeah, go, go with Zer. Birdie will take care of it. Birdie's strong enough to take care of a Zigzagoon. Yeah, I believe in Birdie. Birdie took it out in one hit. Nice. And then the next one in one hit, because Birdie is... Swellow is a really good Pokemon. It turns out Swellow is probably the... I would argue one of the best of the normal birds. Mm -hmm. Until Star Raptor came out the next generation, there wasn't a comparison. I have not battled you yet. Did okay, weirdo. This rocket grunt just said, "Are you lost, little mouse?" Yeah, yeah, I get it. You're trying to be intimidating with that, but it's not working. Oh yeah, 
think Sabrina is actually supposed to be the fifth gym leader and Koga is the sixth, but most people fight Koga first. Really? I think. I don't remember. I always feel because you can technically fight either Sabrina. You can fight Sabrina at the same point you can fight Koga, I believe. And. Because I think, uh, you know. I don't remember, though. Because. Technically, you can skip Lieutenant Surge. Uh, which has always been the weird thing. There's a bunch of times in various games where you can skip a gym leader, which always throws me off on what you can and what is technically allowed for you to do with skipping gym leaders. Well, technically you can skip the second gym leader in uh, Hoenn, because you can come back to him. At the only point that you need to do it is after you... Um, I think you get rock smashed from the third gym leader, so you actually don't need to do the second gym leader at all until you need to actually have his badge to fight your dad. So you can wait till you beat the third and fourth. Uh, you need to beat the sixth gym leader uh, before you can do the seventh, though, because she is. Wait, maybe I don't. I don't remember. I know you have to beat six and seven before you can do eight, though. But I think you can technically do seven first. And this guy just said, "Can't you understand the beauty of our evil?" And I'm just think about what you just said, sir. You just said, "Can't you understand the beauty of our evil?" M maybe you should rethink your life. If, if that's your immediate response to the child that's beating up your entire criminal organization. I feel like maybe you should reevaluate your life if a child is beating up a criminal organization is a more succinct reputation. Listen, it's not my fault that I'm beating them up so easily. It's their own fault for being so weak. That kind of was my point. Fair enough. Like, they should reflect on their actions and how this came to be the situation. This is thankfully before Sableye gets stall. But this is back when it had Keen Eye as its ability, which has always been weird. Okay, am I really okay, I think it we're I think we're about to finish up. Oh nice, the calcium. Okay, uh, let's make sure. I think we're about to fight Giovanni himself. Cause, get it, Geo? Cause ground types? <laughs> hey! Puns. Cause Brock is rock, Mist is water. And I don't remember what Erica is a reference to. Uh, let's see. More like Barica. I, I don't know why. Because he's bareback? Oh. Hot. <laughs> I love it! Team Rocket captures Pokemon from around the world. For your insults, I'm gonna beat you up. I'm Giovanni. Oh, he does have six Pokemon! Nice. This will be interesting. Okay, I got the poison gas off on his Rhyhorn. His Rhyhorn has Rock Slide, which I'm able to tank because Baku is a Hypno, and that's kind of all Hypno is, is the tanky psychic type. He's going to send out a Kangaskong. Okay, I'll put in Mephisto. Mephisto will use Reflect. Oof. Poison powder. Okay, we're at the right level though, because his Kangaskong is 32 and we're 33, so this. We came here, we're not over leveled. I mean, we're slightly over leveled because Hypno is 36, but 
since the levels are slightly changed, it's hard to be safe or be certain here. Because mm -hmm. I, I, yeah. We'll use synthesis to heal up. But it seems he doesn't have any HP items. Which is going to be our saving grace. Also, the simple fact that Giovanni has a Kankus Kong says a lot about his being far nicer than it. Because Kangas Kong. Or this says that Kangas Kong was originally supposed to be a ground type and it was supposed to be an evolution for Cubone slash Marowak. It's one or the other. Uh, a Vibrava? Yeah, let's put in Barbados. Uh, Barbados will take on Giovanni pretty quickly. Reflect War Off. Doesn't matter. We have Icy Wind, though. Oof, wait. Giovanni will have a Fly Gone in the final match, which will actually be kind of mildly concerning. Fly Gone is a good Dragon type. Oh, hey. They, they gave Giovanni a reference to the anime in the Persian. There's, there's a lot of little references to the anime here. Misty has a Togetic in her team. In a reference to her Togetic. Actually, yeah, it's a Togetic. Oh, that's hilarious to me. Sorry, it's just... Oh! His Persian actually has a special move. To benefit from Shadow Ball's lowering a special defense. Oh, and his Persian's level 35, so his Persian's his star of his team. So, no, we're fine. Our entire team is perfectly at level. And we're going to win because Mephisto is so tanky. Turns out Meganium's entire gimmick is being the tank. And that's really hard to deal with for when you're fighting a grass type. Oh, uh, he heals up and gets KO'd by poison. Nice. And that's... Oh, I get it, because he's... It, this is him acting as the leader of uh, Team Rocket, so he doesn't have his ground team. Oh, that's actually a clever touch. His team isn't ground types right now because he's not being a gym leader. I was. Or they just wanted to give him a dark type to show that he's a mafia boss. Can't tell which, but I'm hoping for the latter because that's that's more clever. Jeez, that's a lot of moves that it just whipped out. Body slam, poison fang, iron tail. This guy really just gave them. Okay. Okay, and, and then. Okay, that that just breaks the entire theme for both of these. Kingler. He just sent out a Kingler, sweetie. That is odd. You know what I think of when Do I think of... Do have one of those in the anime, though? That's Ash. I thought he got it from Giovanni. Though. No, he got he got a Krabby at random, and then he calls Oak to ask what happened to his Krabby, because Ash didn't know that when you hit six, that's your cap for Pokemon you can carry on you. Which is the establishment that Ash is that stupid that he doesn't know you can only have six Pokemon on you. 
and he's like, oh, I have a Krabby. And then he's like, oh, yeah, Scary's got a Krabby, too. And then Ash starts gloating about how his Krabby's got to be totally better. And then it shows that Gary's Krabby is literally three times bigger than Ash's Krabby. Like, like Ash's Krabby is the same size as Oak's head. And then Gary's Krabby is in like a pool next to them. It's huge. Nice. Which is the, just the joke of Ash is overconfident. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we beat Team Rocket in their hideout. Which went surprisingly well. Nobody got lost. And I guess yeah, we can go see about fighting that gym leader. Uh, we'll leave the casino alone right now. I'm not going to really touch the casino until I'm going to... I have to decide, do I want a Dratini or do I want a Scyther? Because that's the other thing. When the game corner gives Pokemon, generally the, the rule is, obviously, only one of them can be taken. And Porygon's going to be useless, because it's Porygon. No one likes Porygon. It's bad. It's not the worst Pokemon, but it's just... There are much better Pokemon out there. My highest level Pokemon is a Hypno. Mm. Okay, and then here's the old guy. <laughs> this gym is great. It's full of women. That's it. Erica's, Erica's gym is kind of obnoxious because you need cut to not only get in it, but get through it. Also, also the very first trainer you fight in Erica's gym is a turf. Because only real women are allowed. That, that's by... Because why else would she say that? That's just kind of rude. Also, challengers are allowed to come in of any gender and challenge the gym leader. But, yeah, that's the other thing. Like, most of the ladies in Erica's gym are kind of rude. But they didn't care. Well, at least the first one. I don't remember if she... Let's see what she says after we beat her. Uh, her name is Kay. You're too rough. Or are you going to try and say that I'm being rough? Because you... God, yeah. They're also... God, she's just so rude, the very first one. She goes, You were too rough with me as a trainer. Eh, you're a jerk and a bully. It's like, You challenged me to a Pokemon match, lady. That's how Pokemon matches work. It's, it's just kind of nonsense to be too rough. I was fighting your Pokemon, not you. Did you just try and take a swing at my trainer? And then my trainer just slapped you down? Is that what happened? Or are we are we firmly establishing my trainer just bitch slapped you? I mean, I'm okay with that, considering how rude you were. Because I don't really get the real women comment, except if it's being turf. Because I would love to. You mean like this? Exactly. Kiss. Mm, kisses. The one thing is, Erica's gym has one really nice thing. A lot of trainers. Uh -huh. Like, a lot of trainers. What is it? Uh, her gym has the most. It's seven, I believe. I think, well, the most at this point. It has double the number of Giovanni's, sorry, no, of Serge's, and three times what Misty has, and well, Brock only has one. But then again, Brock's the first gym leader, so it's hard to compare. And this is back before the gyms had puzzles. Like, the puzzle in Serge's is, guess where the lightning switch is, and then you're told that the second switch will always be to the right, 
so you always know it can't be the far right one. I do like the detail that because Erica is a flower arranger, that's why she uses grass types. Yeah, I don't like that. And the one of the gym, one of the trainers said, oh, "Were you the person that was peeking in earlier?" Eh. It's like, no, there's just a creepy old guy out front. You know, you could, you could do something. Okay, no. Or assume I'm the creepy old guy that's peeking in. Hey. Yeah. I love you. I love you too. So here's hoping this is the first gym leader where I don't lose any Pokemon. Because every other gym leader I've lost one Pokemon. I lost one on Brock, I lost three on Misty, and I lost three on Surge. Mostly because Magneton turned out to be really obnoxious, because his Magneton turned out to have a good speed. Which I wasn't prepared for. Oh, wow. That's just a random cool trainer. Okay. This, this is actually mildly scary. Uh, I oh. will say the lore for Tales of Majayal was pretty interesting. Oh? Well, among other things, there's like three separate apocalypses hanging over the place. Oh. There's an alternate dimension that was turned into hell by the sins of, um... The past? Oh shit, it's another necromancer. Oh shit, I'm at really low health. Pull up a sec, I gotta deal with this. You have fun with that, Bay. You focus on that. I'm gonna focus on clearing out this gym. Oh wow. I that... should... That's so nice! Birdie just crit and took out that shift tree. That shift tree's gonna be worth a lot of XP. How much? Nice! 13, 18. Oof, that's heavy. Okay, what about... Yeah, okay. Yeah, so only the first one's been rude to me. The others are just like, uh, hi, whatever. Hi, can I help you? Yeah. Why are you here? You hear the channel of the gym? We have to battle you, of course, before you can. And then they're just like, oh, we, we don't like these type of Pokemon because we're weak to them. Oh, the first one's like, you're not allowed in here, me. Okay, sure, lady. I do like that. Erica may be a bit quiet, but she's a very good gym leader and very kind. Oh, that was mildly scary. He's, they got an executor. But I took care of it. And Zubir is level 34. Nice. And so is Megadolian. Okay. So now I just need to heal up everybody before I fight Erica. And I've got it. Okay, just... That'll heal him up to full. And I have an awakened, don't I? Yes, I do. I have one awakening. Okay, here it is, Erica battle. Mm, you can do it. I do love that. She's just, Eric is just very calmly talking to you. Just, oh, hello. Oh, you came here to challenge me. Oh, okay, very well, we can fight. Just very, just very pleasant about everything. 
Oh, yeah, this is going pretty well. I just took out her Victor Bell without any issues. Okay, what's her next Pokemon going to be? Ludicolo. Uh, yeah, we'll stay in. Uh, Confuse Ray. Let's confuse the Ludicolo. Good. Okay, that's another one down. Zubira did her job. A blit. A blissy. Okay, let's swap to Mephisto, because I have no idea. Well, let's see, huh? Okay, then. Okay, then. Okay, she's got a Blissey with leftovers. That's just, dude. That's just that's just inappropriate. Luckily, I poisoned her, so she's taking damage every round. Okay, um, let's use a super potion to top up Mephisto. It's also got Ice Beam, which is mildly concerning. I'm just going to just use another super potion. I don't want to spam super potions, but... Okay... Yeah, let's do synthesis because we have that. Uh... Okay, you're gonna probably go to. I don't have anybody that can super. Barbados, get in there. Oh, that's scary. It's a Blossom. Okay, uh, Zubir, get in there. Oh yeah, that was the right choice. Leaf Blade's a high crit move. Okay, as long as it doesn't have anything super... Oh, it's got natural cure. Oof. Natural cure. Okay, oh, that, that's the most obnoxious. Her blissy is just oof. Okay. Also good thunder wave. I'm glad we brought back thunder wave. Okay. Good. Okay. Lemonade.
So the Arctos can't crit, so it doesn't matter! And I'm literally just using Water Pulse to try and get Confusion up on you. Okay, Lemonade to heal Barbados up. I can't. I can't switch Mephisto in because he's fragile to all of that. Okay. Oh, thank you. This will make my life easier. Okay. Megadolian, get in there. That's obnoxious. Okay, does it have solar beam? Uh, Zubir is switching. Yeah, it does, but... Doesn't matter, because Zubir is a flying type and you're a grass type. Air cutters damage versus wing attack. High crit, lower accuracy, and slightly lower damage. Well, this is before it becomes a special move. So yeah, let's give it this rear air cutter. That will actually be useful. Oh, good. Back to Iblissi already. Full heal. Do I have a full heal? Nope. I have a bunch of... Vioplum? Okay, Zavir, get in there. Oh. Oh, that's obnoxious. Okay. Okay, that's just... I'm angry now. I swapped out to Birdie and then it used Sludge Bomb. That boost to its attack is no joke. Oh, jeez, that was a crit? Ow! Finish it off with an air cutter. There we go. Okay, that was close. Okay. 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 So it's now just the Blissey. Which means Baku can handle this. 
And he gets the poison gas off. Perfect. And the pussy... Tags him. Okay, sure, whatever. Hit Baku. He's, he's tanky as heck. Oof. I wasn't able to stop somebody from getting KO'd, but we we beat Erica here. Maybe? This is coming right down to the line. Use a lot of items to do it, but then again, that happens. Thank you, Baku. I did not expect an attack spec to Vile Plume. They kept her star ace, but salt of her being a special attacking vile plume with petal dance to a physical attacking with sludge. Is that sludge or sludge bomb? Because if that was her sludge, I'm just impressed. It KO'd Birdie in one hit. To be fair, it had sharply increased attack. But. The crit did 70 damage to. Okay, well. Erica's gym is done. Actually, does Erica actually... I forget, does Erica actually have anything to say besides that? Oh yeah, Erica openly admits she would never collect unattractive Pokemon. I mean, that's legit. It's a bit mean, but I guess. What Not are you, every Pokemon is good looking. I mean, I, I mean, she's a victory bell, and I'm like, that's unattractive, but she has that. Oh, the Slipco guy's gone. Okay. Well, we have an open slot in our party again. Actually, we don't, because we already have a flying type. Zer, you did well. <sighs> okay. Okay, we're going up to... We're going to the, the water gym next. No, not the water gym. We got, a, we got a, the psychic gym and we got another thing to do. And what do we have here? What do we have here that could really help us? We want a ghost type. We want to catch something in the... We want to just we want to catch something in the ghost tower. That's it. Okay. I don't know what we want to catch, but we want to catch something. Anything would be useful there. Uh, yeah. Okay. And our team is a bunch of thirty mid thirties and a thirty seven hypno. If we don't catch something, then we'll have to figure out what to do from there. Which would be annoying, but possible. Boop, boop, boop. 